Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Juju the Gamer here, and I just want to bring something a little bit different. Um, I know that it is now the summer, and what summer means, I'm not in school anymore. I don't got finals. I'm loving it. So with that being said, I've been wanting to do something I've been wanting to bring to the channel for a long time, and that's is doing anime first impression, my first opinion, my first thoughts. Um, this is something I've always wanted to do. This always wanted to do <clears throat> so with that being said the first or uh, the anime i was most hyped for this season um one of them is megalobox now megalobox is a celebration or a tribute anime dedicated to the 50 years uh success of to the legendary boxing anime asta no joe <clears throat> if you have not seen asta no joe i highly recommend it Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it for you. All It's two seasons. It's kind of long. Uh, but if you like boxing, you love anime, why not? Um, so what's going to start off this reviews, uh, not even review, a recap, so to speak. Uh, let's start off with the opening line. Um, this, immediate caught, this immediately caught my attention. Um, the first few lines of this anime is to be quiet and do as you're told that's the cowardly choice to stay down or fight back now with that being the opening line that kind of lets the audience know that this might be hinting at the theme or the overall the theme of the episode or the overall theme of the entire show to be quiet and do as you're told I, I think that means to uh, you know, in layman terms, just sit back, you know, accept defeat or, you know, yeah, accept defeat. Or in this case, because it's a boxing name, you're going to fight back. Um, <clears throat> before I truly dive in, I just want to make a comment about the art style. The art style is pure. It's beautiful. Um, the art style of the animation is something, we, something that hasn't been seen in a long time. In a long time because you know it's 2018 this art style was used back in the 70s the 80s it's been a long time so with that being said i truly love how gritty this anime feels it really feels like it's a rags to riches kind of story which is what asta no joe was kind of known for it dealt with the darker side of reality darker side of boxing um with that being said in in regards to the darker side of boxing it comes with like possible injuries you know, it's a lot of similarities uh, between these two. So, where does Megalobox even get its namesake from? Megalobox um, is a type of boxing style in this anime lore due to the entertainment industry wanting to push boxing to a newer height. And with this newer height, they wanted to combine technology um, designed by the Shirado Group. The, the Shirado group has been wanting to make advances in technology and boxing for a long time. Um, the Shirado group has decided to, in order to push the sport, to push the, the competitiveness of the sport, uh, they decided to create a tournament. The tournament is called Megalonia, which is a four-fighter main bracket tournament. And according to the granddaughter, who's now the head of the company, it is an open bracket it's open to any region. It's open to anybody. All you got to do is show up and prove that you can fight. That's it. That's all you have to do. <laughs> That's all you have to do. So, as I'm, you know, watching and watching more and more into this first... This, this is just the first episode. As I'm watching more and more into this episode, um, we come across Gansaku Nanbu, who is the manager of Junk Dog. Junk Dog is the main protagonist of this anime. Um... That we see first off. It's very obvious that he's a protagonist. He, he's the guy that, you know, it's obvious that he's the racks to riches guy. <clears throat> so while Junk Dog was getting his gear, his gear fixed after he crashed his motorcycle, I, I, something caught my attention. Um, that he doesn't have citizenship ID. That he's technically illegal. And... And the anime delves into this more, even when the manager says, you know, point blank, how are you going to make any money if you aren't 
registered if you don't have an ID, if you aren't truly a citizen. I know you're talented, but how can you make money that way? So you have to throw these fights. You have you have to kind of like you know accept accept this if you want to you know want to make some living. And you know that that kind of upset JD because he feels like he's a much better boxer in that regard to be throwing fights to these lanes, in his opinion. Um, and you know, he, but he has no choice. He wants to you know make some money. Um, and this is when he begins fighting, uh, when the first official fight scene comes up between him and Ghetto Hachia. Now, to be honest, I was kind of unsure how the gear would work in terms of boxing. I, I was really unsure how it would work, to be quite honest. Um, because, because you know how anime is when it comes into, you know, science fiction and, you know, they, they go off the rails with it. I was truly concerned with how they would put it in terms of boxing, but I was pleasantly surprised. I was pleasantly surprised that the gear, you know, it looks flashy, it looks cool, it looks really cool, but it didn't really do anything to dampen the sport of boxing. Uh, the most that it did was really just improve impact, you know, power impact of the punches and the speed of the punches, as shown in this little clip right here. <laughs> Now, now, as you see, the power, the power by the gear has been boosted somewhat. You can, you can tell, you can tell that anime has as more emphasis on how, how much more powerful the punch has gotten. Um, but, but in that same regard, what I did find cool about the gear was that the trainer's not yelling into, you know, he, he's not yelling over the crowd. He has like a little headset on, and he's talking into it, you know, in. And JD, you know, he, he has like an earpiece. You can hear it from his ear. And I, and I thought that was really interesting. It's like, okay, that, that's kind of different. They kind of changed that. You know, the trainer's not yelling over the crowd. He's not screaming his head off. You know, he's just talking kindly to his fighter. You know, that's that's cool. <laughs> um. Now, fast forward after the the fight. And, you know, JD's frustrated. He's frustrated because he knew that if he was fighting seriously, he could have knocked dude out. Simple as that. He could have knocked him out. But, you know, as evidenced by this picture, you know, he got paid. So he had to make some money. And with that being said, he had to, you know, he wanted to be off on his own, Batman style. So, so while he was on his own, he kind of almost crash landed into uh, Yukiko, I believe that's her name. Yukiko Shirato. Who is the head of the Shirado company? Who's in charge of the tournament? He almost crashed. He almost crashed into her while he was just driving his motorcycle. And you know when he ran into her, his frustrations just boiled over, and he was like, "Man, you actually call this real boxing? This ain't real boxing. Like, what is you doing with all this fancy gear and stuff? This not real boxing. It's just a street fight." And we are, and at this point, we are introduced to Yuri. Yuri is the big honcho. He is the boss. He is the champion of mega mega boxing at this point. He is the, he is the champ. He is the guy to be. You know, I I guess because he's kind of hired by the Shirado group. He took offense to that. He was like, "Hey, you can't be talking to my boss like that. What's wrong with you?" And so. Before these two could even really get to know each other, they they was getting ready to scrap, like for real. They, they was getting ready to go at it, <laughs> and I thought that was cool. I was like, "One, no pleasantries. One, no high hour. No, no, no." They immediately got into their stances, and you know how anime is—they want to drag out everything, so the fight you know, kind of got delayed. So you know, as we move into this episode, JD's you know back in the gym with Nambu. He's here again to throw another fight. But this time it's five rounds, so Nambu told him, you know, drag it out some, drag it out, make it entertaining for the folks. But, you know, and, and, and this is when the plot twist happened. This is when the curveball was thrown. Yuri, without any manager, without any people representing his rider group, just showed up. Not only did he show up, he showed up ready to fight. 
And he specifically said, I have unfinished business with you. And he was talking directly to JD. And I was like, ooh, this is getting interesting. I mean, ooh, they about to scrap. They about to fight. And so, you know, Nanbu was like, hold on, man. Hold on. Now, this the champ. This the champ. I don't know if you're ready for this, JD. I'm not about to have you look like a fool out here just because... Yeah, I'm, I'm not about to have you... Sorry, I was looking at my nose. I'm not about to have you look like a fool out here and get potentially destroyed by <laughs> the champion. That's stupid. But, you know, JD, he was like, you told me that you believed I could truly hang with the best of these boxers. And now you're telling me now you don't be, you don't have any faith in me. You don't you don't believe that I could put up a good fight. And so JD in his frustration, he kind of took he kind of threw his he kind of forced the trainer out the ring and then he threw his earpiece at him. He was like, "Trust me. I want to see for myself. I want to see for myself if I can truly hang with these type of fighters." And so you know, you know, at the end of the episode, there's two of them was talking smack. They was like, okay, we about to go. And... <laughs> so that's how the episode ended. Um, So my final thoughts are, man, this, this anime is a sleeper hit. I, I believe it's going to be one of the best in the summer to come out. I'm, I'm so happy this is coming out because I enjoy action-oriented fast-paced anime um, especially due to how many how few episodes it has I believe it only has 13 uh, so with that in mind we are definitely going to see a lot of action in the next couple of coming upcoming episodes uh, keep in mind that this is my first uh, time watching this series I know it's on like episode 6 or 7 uh, currently but this is my first time watching it and I'm having a blast I, I, I really enjoy this series I really want to see how the story develops, how JD develops, and uh, I really hope he, sh um, and I really hope he gives Yuri a tough challenge. You know, that, you know that's a champ. You want to press a champ, especially as a newcomer. Um, so, so I really hope he gives him a a tough challenge. But um, this is a really fun episode to watch, um, to go back over and watch again. I had I had a lot of fun. I really did. So. If you in, if you watched halfway or even if you made it to this point, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter at AlternativeJJ96. Uh, you'll see me mostly talking about uh, anime and gaming there. Um, but, but I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. How are you enjoying the series? What are some of the other summer anime I should be watching or letting you guys know my interpretations of it? But once again, this is Juju the Gamer. I'm signing off for now. You could for now, everybody. Have a great day. Goodbye.